With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi guys, the question for today is a moving coil galvanometer having a resistance of G produces a full scale deflection when current IG flows through it. This galvanometer can be converted into first one, an ammeter of range 0 to I0 such that I0 is greater than IG by connecting a shunt resistance of RA to it. Second, into an old meter. So they have given basically a conversion of galvanometer into an ammeter and the old meter. Okay, and they have specified the corresponding uh, the values also. So based on this, we need to solve the problem. Okay, and we need to choose which of the options A, B, C, or D is correct. So first, let us try to analyze uh, the diagrams. So let us let me bring in the circuit diagram for both the conversions of the galvanometer into an ammeter and voltmeter and so on. Okay, so you can see I have brought in the image, so the figure. So this is basically the figure where you know the conversion of galvanometer to ammeter happens and conversion of galvanometer into an voltmeter. Okay, so first one is basically when a galvanometer is used as an ammeter, the shunt is used in parallel. So basically shunting happens in parallel here. Uh, let me show it here. So here shunting shunt resistance RA. So RA is basically the shunt. Okay, the shunt resistance. You can see conversion of a galvanometer to ammeter. So here it is ammeter. So it's basically the galvanometer is converted to an ammeter here that is the first one first image or the first figure and second image you have the galvanometer is basically converted into an voltmeter so these are the two diagrams which you know we need to understand with respect to the conversions now when you convert a galvanometer to an ammeter by shunting in parallel, what happens? The effective resistances are going to be in parallel, right? The galvanometer resistance and the uh, shunt resistance, both are going to be in parallel. So accordingly, you know, uh, when we apply the loop law, we will get the equations as uh, IG is equal to, IG times G is equal to I0 minus IG times RA, okay? This is what we will get. So now let me find out RA. Just rearrange for RA. What is RA from here? By the simple rearrangement, we get RA is equal to IG upon I0 minus IG times capital G. So let me mark this as equation number one. Okay. This is for uh, galvanometer to ammeter. We have found out the relation. Similarly, when galvanometer is used as an voltmeter, we get the relation as, you know, IG, because both are in series combination, so it is be IG times G plus RV, where RV is the resistance of the voltmeter, okay, is equal to G times I0, okay. So similarly, let us find out what is RV, rearrange for rv here we get rv is equal to i0 minus ig divided by ig the whole multiplied by g so let me let us mark this as equation number two so we have two equations according to the options we need to find out what is rarv so first multiply rarv and find out the relation so let us do that so RA times RV is equal to, so I multiply, that is nothing but multiplying 1 into 2. So I'm let me multiply. So if I multiply that, I will get, I can see that G and G is getting, the, is there. So G, you will get G square. Okay. And what about I and upon I naught minus IG and I naught minus IG upon it? Both these terms will get cancelled out. Okay. So it's only G square. So RA, RV is G square. Okay. This implies. RA times RV is equal to G square. What about the other term they are asking? It is RA upon RV, right? So RA upon RV, the second one, let us do that. So RA upon RV 
that is basically 1 upon 2 so if I do that 1 upon 2 what happens uh, in that case g is going to get cancelled and I will get the relation between i ig and i naught minus ig so we can see that we will get ig upon i naught minus ig the whole square both will get multiplied with itself so therefore ra upon rv is equal to ig upon i naught minus ig the whole square so according to that which option is correct so option yeah option b is correct right the ra times rv is g and ra upon rv is ig upon i naught minus g the whole square so option b is correct thank you students for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today